Welcome back, friends. It is time for today's Smart Money Minute with our friend Andy Mattingly from Forum Credit Union. Andy, welcome as always. Thank you. Man, this is an important topic that I yes. think a lot of people are going to, their ears are going to perk up. It affects yeah. a lot of people. How to make the right selections when it comes to employee benefits. Yes. Let's get right into it. All right, so what are some of the important benefit decisions to be made? Well, you know, I think what happens is people think it's just about benefits. It's about picking your health insurance or something like that, but it really has a financial impact because you really have to think about what type of health plan you want to have, what type of you know, disability or life insurance maybe you want to add on. You know, there's just lots of things that go with this, even your retirement funding. And it, we get in the habit of skipping the benefit plans and just checking yes to what we had last year. Right. And you really shouldn't do that. It should really be something that you think about and plan for. Yeah, you don't want to miss out on those opportunities exactly. that can be very beneficial for you. Exactly. So you mentioned health. Uh, yes. What are some of the considerations for health insurance coverage that we should take into account? Well, if your employer offers a lot of different plans, then you got to think about, well, do I have a big medical expense coming up next year? Maybe I'm going to mm -hmm. have a baby next year or something, or I know I'm going to have something going on. So then you got to think about, you know, a lot of those plans have different out-of-pocket coverages, but they cost more to have less out-of-pocket. So you got to put all that together, run some numbers, and say, which plan is going to be best for me next year? Yeah. If you're on prescription drugs, you know that you have an ongoing monthly thing that you have to pay for. You need to look and see what has the best coverage for that. So those are all things you need to look at because it has a financial impact. If you don't have the money to pay for the out-of-pocket expenses, then you might need to pay more and have less out-of-pocket expenses. Yeah, and that second point right there, do yeah. you have funds to cover the deductible? Exactly. That can be a big thing that when people get exactly. that bill, you're thinking, oh my gosh, how am I going to cover this? Exactly. So really important to think through in advance. Exactly. All right, Andy, so how can we avoid mistakes with decisions on retirement savings? Well, you know, what happens is if we've been at a company for a while, we don't even do anything with it. Yeah. And really, every year you should think about, do you want to increase it? Um, if you're older, you might want to think about doing something with Roth because it has, gives you some tax advantages when you're retired. But then you also need to think about that when you were in your 20s and you set up all your selections for funds, and if you're my age and you're in your 50s, that doesn't work for you, yeah. and you need to start changing that. So I think that's one of those things that we just get at our company, and we think that's being taken care of yeah. for us, and it's not. So we need to do that. Yeah, sometimes you enroll in that, like, oh, 30-year plan, yeah. and then like, you just totally forget about it. Exactly. There actually could be a better plan for you if exactly. you dig in. Also, just that employer match yes. can make such a big difference. It's so important to get that, because you're just leaving money on the table. Yeah. And I know people hear that, but it's like, why would you not at least go to the max? Yeah, just take five extra minutes to yes. read the fine print. Exactly. Yeah. All exactly. right, Andy. So so are there other benefits that we should be considering and using? Yeah, well, you know, so like a lot of companies will offer disability and life insurance. So maybe that's where you can cut back in your outside of your company insurance because yeah. you have good coverage. Or maybe they'll allow you to buy extra and it might be cheaper than you getting it on your own. So if you're mm -hmm. putting your family plan together, you want to do that. Wellness benefits. Most companies are doing things with wellness. Either they'll put money in your HSA or you'll get a lower cost on your insurance. So you want to do those things. And then finally, if you have kids, you may, be, you may be able to do a health savings account, but you also might be able to do a flexible savings account so you can pay for those child care expenses yeah. with um, pre-tax money so you don't have to pay taxes on that, and that can save you. And that's really important when you have a family of a couple of kiddos going to daycare. Yes. That can be very expensive. Especially in this day and age with rising yes. prices, kind of across it's the board, board. every exactly. penny that you can save exactly. counts, especially across that long term. Yes. Because that's what you don't want to be in, right? right? Years down the road wondering, why didn't I do this exactly. earlier? Exactly. Where can people connect with you and your team at Forum? Maybe? Well, you can always connect with us at um, forumcu.com or follow us on Twitter. Check out our YouTube channel. We do lots of things out there. Awesome. Same time, same place next week? Yes, sir. All right. Thanks for that smart money minute. Andy. Hey, it's time to check in with our next guest and learn about a fun festival the whole family can enjoy this